If you need to replace the X access belts on your Monoprice Ultimate 2 or your Redo M2X, which is what this machine is, or Redo F152S, I believe, also has the same X carriage along with a few other, or a couple of the Redo models. It uses, but the Monoprice Ultimate 2 uses the same X carriage um, as it's manufactured um, by Redo for Monoprice. The reason I'm doing this is because somebody was having problems getting the tension back because they accidentally uh, re removed the belt or removed these two shiny screws you see when you try to replace this piece or parts, most of this. I don't think the sensor comes with it or the fan. But you see those two screws on the bottom, and those are the two you go after. At least that's what I did. Knowing probably that's what was going to happen, but if I were to be doing it myself, I probably would have went for the same thing and not knowing. So I'm going to show how to retension or put the install the belt back on there, retension it. So if you did remove those screws, put the screws back in there, get the belt out of the way, and install this piece back in there and tighten it to, to leave just a little bit of a gap. When I say a gap, I mean between this plate and the carriage. The gap size needs to be just enough for the belt to pass to fit in there with the. That's probably a little too much, but too much is fine. So I'm going to start on this side. Actually, let me go over this part first. I want to put the belt so it lines up, or so it overlaps as close to as even as possible. So I'm going to go to try to be just somewhere in between here and here for this belt. And this is the motor side over here. The idler pulley is on this the opposite side, obviously. Let's see. You, if you, you're able to get down here and and look straight ahead you'll be able to see the belt and I kind of poked it out there and you want to push down on that and the belt should kind of get pushed into place to line up the teeth with those grooves on the carriage so sandwich that and then tighten it up you want to tighten it as much as you can without breaking it you face it what you want to do is have it tight because it's not going to be uh, removed doesn't need to be removed again unless uh, you need to replace a belt or some other reason but for what we're doing here it's not doesn't need to be loosened back up all right and now grab the belt on the other side and I find it easier to get most of the tension or the slack out of the belt by pushing the carriage all the way to this side or the opposite side if you're doing starting with the other side and then you might need to lift this up with a nail or something because when you tighten that screw down it probably pulled this half down also. You would pull this as much as you can make sure there's no slack, no kinks in the belt anywhere it's getting caught up. And you want to pull straight as straight as possible to keep the belt not you don't want to pull up. You don't want to and make sure when you're pulling it you're not pushing it pushing the bottom the bottom belt down or the bottom half of the belt. So first you just push it in there. And then kind of slide your fingers over well, to keep that belt as tight as possible. And once you get there, push down just like we did on the other side. And you get your screwdriver, you might have to kind of pull the belt out of the way from underneath. And we're just going to tighten the screw. And I'm working on the ground here, so it's it might be better if you're working on a workbench or something a little bit, maybe a table where you can kind of look underneath there and I'd have to uh, guess where the screw is or there we go. Just make sure before you loosen or you release that with your one hand that it's, it is tight and it's good enough.
It might take a couple times to do it to get enough um, the tension. Um, as there's no tensioning springs on here of any sort, on, there's no adjustments on the motor side, unless you want to release the mounting screws, I don't recommend doing that. Um, there's no uh, adjustment on the tension for the tension, belt tension on the pulley. So the pulley kind of pulls out, some do, but uh, this machine does not. Um, this is going to be the only way to do it, and I believe that's how the factories, the factory installed it is similar to how I've shown. I'm sure they're a little more experienced and do a lot quicker. And maybe they even have a little tool that helps them uh, do it so their hands aren't getting in the way as much. And the rest of it, just hopefully you remembered how everything else goes. There's only a few screws to put the assembly back on. Um, that's pretty straightforward.